Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today in Radom, Poland, at Fabrika Broni, taking a look at the very first version of the MSBS rifle that was actually purchased by the Polish military, and that is the Honor Guard version. So in 2016, before there were any other major orders from combat branches of the Polish military, uh, it was decided that the Honor Guard, so this is across all service branches, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, police, the guys who are doing dress uniform ceremonial parade sort of demonstrations, well, those guys had been using SKS rifles, and it was decided that they would be the first ones to get the brand new MSBS, or Grot, rifle. So what's really interesting to me is there are a bunch of changes that they made to this rifle to make it particularly suitable to the ceremonial role. And they did this under uh, advisement of some of the, the ceremonial troops. And I figured it'd be fun to show you what they actually came up with, because this is, again, the very first Grot MSBS that was adopted by the Polish military. So let's take a closer look. All right, let's start at the front. Virtually every part of this rifle is actually non-standard including the bayonet lug. So on the regular MSBS, you have a button here that you push in to release the bayonet. Well, for the parade rifles, they're getting slammed on the ground a lot. Uh, that button might accidentally come loose or get bumped, and then your bayonet goes flying in the middle of drill, and that's bad. So instead, you actually have to depress that in, and then you can take the bayonet off. Otherwise, this is a normal bayonet, except for being chromed and not sharpened. But it hooks onto, right there, onto the muzzle device, and then this snaps in to the bayonet lug. There is this deal on the barrel. That is added specifically to hold the rifle like this as part of a drill procedure, so you have a good solid place uh, to keep a, gra a grip on the rifle while throwing it around. Also worth pointing out, this has the standard length handguard, but it actually has a longer barrel than the standard combat version of the rifle. This has a 20 inch barrel on it, instead of the standard 16, uh, largely so that the rifle is tall enough that you can, uh, you know, a ceremonial soldier can hold his arm down at his side and still have the rifle long enough uh, to be easily gripped. Uh, a modern short-stocked, short-barreled combat rifle is, frankly, a bit too short to hold properly at your side that way. Moving back to the handguard, there are a number of distinctive changes. So the front end of the handguard is sealed up here, and if you look through it there you may notice that there's no gas system. This is actually a straight-pull bolt-action rifle, uh, because as part of ceremony it does get fired using blanks, and then manually cycled, because the blanks traditionally weren't going to be cycling it anyway uh, with things like the SKS. So they didn't bother to put in a gas system at all. The sights have been fixed. Instead of having flip-up sights, they have much more robust uh, fixed sights that are there primarily to give the appearance of sights, because they're also about half the height of typical of, of the actual iron sights on the MSBS. And frankly, these are too low to actually get your eye behind uh, to properly see. There is a Picatinny rail that runs the entire length of the top of the receiver, but it has been covered in a solid protective uh, rubber pad here so that it doesn't catch on soldiers' uniforms or anything else. Note that the original MSBS had ambidextrous an ambidextrous charging handle. On here, we only have a charging handle on the right side, and it, is been, it has been significantly enlarged to make it easier for soldiers to catch when doing their, their maneuvers. Uh, and you didn't want a charging handle on the opposite side where it would definitely catch on things. The ambidextrous magazine uh, release is no longer actually ambidextrous. You have soldiers right-handed in drill. They are catching the rifle without a finger in the trigger guard to avoid the possibility of catching the rifle, hitting the mag release, and having the mag fall out. The magazine release on the right side has actually been disabled. So instead, you only have a magazine release on the left, and of course a 10-round magazine used with blanks. The full auto mechanism has been removed, so these are only semi-auto now, and of course without a gas system 
there's no need for them to be anything more than semi-auto. These use Magpul pistol grips. Because they were the very first production at this point, uh, FB was still sourcing Magpul pistol grips to use, and so that's what these rifles got. The buttstock of the rifle is no longer adjustable or folding. On the, the proper combat versions, it's adjustable for length, and it folds to the side. Well, you don't want, frankly, the soldiers in, in parade drill are never going to be collapsing or folding their stocks, and you need that stock to be particularly strong because it's going to get banged on the ground regularly and forcefully. So not only did they make this a full-length fixed stock, they also went ahead and gave it a nice solid metal butt plate uh, to resist damage, well, damage from use. Interestingly, as a result of this, the rifles uh, different different to disassemble than the standard rifle. Normally you fold the stock and then remove the stock to begin disassembly. Well, you can't do that because it doesn't fold. So instead you have to start by removing the pin for the lower receiver. With this pin out you lift the lower up and take it off, and then you have to reach in here. Humorously, someone has actually put a standard recoil spring in this rifle. Normally uh, on the parade rifles there's a little hole in, uh, in the recoil spring guide there that you can drop a tool into, because you actually have to pull the recoil spring forward so that you can release the buttstock to fully disassemble the rifle. So we'll go ahead and leave the, the stock on this one. Uh, you can see all of the changes at this point that there are uh, to the gun. I bet you didn't expect there were quite so many changes that would have to be made simply to use a rifle in modern parade drill, or, or rather a modern rifle in traditional parade drill. If you look at the ceremonial outfits of a lot of modern militaries, you often don't find them using uh, the current standard service weapons, because in a lot of cases those service weapons may not be that well uh, acclimated to the sort of really remarkably rough behave, rough handling that's involved in ceremonial use. A lot of slamming rifles on the ground, uh, things that don't necessarily react well to polymer parts. Um, the US Army is not using M4 carbines for ceremonial duties. Well, the Poles do now use the MSBS, and I think it's pretty cool the way they reinforced these rifles, uh, not for the rigors of combat, but for the rigors of the ceremonial parade ground. Anyway, a big thanks to Fabrica Broni for hosting me here and giving me access to some really unusual rifles like this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.